on the AR, how you did that? Check out lift up when you take off, how you did that? You put switches up on your blinkers, how you did that? Your LV back turned to a legend, how you did that? I seen that back turn to a Louis, how you did that? That look like a brand new booty, how you did that? You got face stones and love with watch you, how you did that? That again with another video hey thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of let's talk about it featuring yours truly <laughs> so um since we are here to talk about it <laughs> Let's get it going, y'all. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for returning to my channel. Thank you for taking um, time out of your day, out of your busy schedule to watch little old me. Um, I know I'm like somewhat, I'm up and coming, but I know... Like, I f have a feeling like this year is going to go up. And I truly have to thank all of my boos and bosses and my um, supporters, those who are not following me. I do appreciate you even clicking on my video just to see what I'm about. And I hope that I can give you what you're looking for because I'm ready. <laughs> Stay ready. Uh, once again, song of the week is it's by the great, the greatest of them all, the the best, the prince of the Bay Area, Young Mother Effin Naz, <laughs> not Nas, but Young N A Z. You feel me? Get it correct when you say the name. The song is called Red Roses. You can get it now um, by downloading or purchasing on itunes i will have the link in my description box so you guys can head over he is still on the charts today is day 10 i believe something like that 10 11 something like that he's been on the charts consistently y'all so let's get him up let's get them numbers rolling you know, just remember that we're greatly appreciative to have such a welcoming audience. I know I appreciate it very much so. So, yeah, y'all go ahead and um, take a minute. I'll wait. Head over to iTunes right now, the iTunes store, and purchase Climate Control. Um, again, I will have the artist's name at the bottom. His name is Young. Naz in a C and get your album. Mm -hmm. So thanks again to all of y'all for tapping in with your girl. Excuse my nails. I don't have my nails done right now, but I'm gonna get them done. Trust me. It don't happen for long. Mm hmm. But I do want to say um, to all my newcomers, welcome to the Booze and Boss Click. <laughs> and please, please, y'all, please, please, if you are subscribed, 
please hit that notifications bell so you can be notified every time my videos upload because this year I'm finna go crazy. I'm finna go crazy. <laughs> Y'all just gonna have to get used to seeing me because I'm finna flood your timeline. And I truly hope that you support because I genuinely appreciate y'all. Like, for real, for real. The long way. For real, for real. Thank you. <laughs> so, how are y'all? How, how are y'all doing? How is your New Year's going so far? Because I must say, mine is doing immaculate. My last video... Even though I'm up and coming, y'all, my last video was posted five days ago, and I already got so much love. Like, 900 of y'all tapped in with me. Little old me. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Like, y'all have no idea. I know I'm very humble. I know I'm very reserved. I know I, like, kind of, like, sit back, watch the show, try to entertain, you know, do what I do. But just the idea of having people who really support you, really rock with you, like, y'all have no idea how grateful, like, how grateful I truly am to have y'all, like, just here supporting me. Thank you. You know, I got to show love to my booze and bosses because... Y'all make me who I am, and so I know I am who I am, but I'm just grateful to have y'all. So, I don't want to say too much. Um, I don't want to go too far into, like, jibber-jab, um, but I just want to give y'all some words of, words of encouragement. So, um, let's go into Girl Talk. Welcome back to Girl Talk. Um, I won't make this too long, you guys, but it is a new year and I do want to give a few words of encouragement. Um, first and foremost, let's thank the, the most high. First and foremost, let's give it up for the most high because we are still here breathing and there's nothing more like there's nothing more to be grateful for than to know that we are still here y'all like let's clap it up for it. we made it to a new year like there's so many losses that happened since the pandemic and you know r.i.p to those who were not fortunate enough to get this far but we are here y'all and this is our year. We need to be grateful. We need to be on our stuff this year, y'all. Please, please make sure that whatever it is that you want to do in life, just get out there and do it, y'all. Don't worry about what the next person thinks. Don't worry about if so-and-so is going to support you or not. Just do it because you really don't know where it will take you so i just want to give like a little you know just a, a little words of encouragement to let y'all know that you are appreciated and <sighs> there's a lot of things going on right now um with our men doing too much for a woman or is a woman not doing enough for a man and is the love there or is it not and you know who's supporting who and in this moment the most that we can do is just be grateful for the support and love that we are currently getting because if a person sees you shining and they know that you're going somewhere sometimes that may make them even though they may not want to show jealousy or they may not come across as they're trying to be jealous there may be a little bit of jealousy in there just because 
Um, they see you flourishing. They see your shine. They see that you are going to go somewhere. Sometimes those people may think that when you go to the top, you're going to forget about them. You have to remember that there are people out there with a heart. There are people out there who really genuinely want to see you grow. Um, the world right now is so crazy. Like, there's got to be something that will help people grow. Right now, we need to be figuring out ways to help one another, to encourage one another to get to the top because we're running out of time y'all like you guys think that following these clout waves are going to get you somewhere and it might it might temporarily get you wherever wherever it is that you're trying to go but always remember to stay ahead of the game for real don't always share your thoughts with everybody keep that stuff wrapped up in your head let people think that you ain't doing nothing with your life let people think that you ain't finna go somewhere because when you pop out they gonna look stupid right they gonna be like what happened so stay on top of yourself stay ahead of the game and do what the hell you gotta do to get to where you trying to go remember that it's 2024 it's time to go up but with that being said let's go ahead and go straight into boss topics <laughs> Welcome back to Boss Topics, y'all. It's 2024. We in the motherfucking building. Put y'all pinkies in the air. <laughs> Welcome to Boss Topics, episode number two in 2024. It's a new year. Let's give it up. So to kick it off with a little bit of messiness i feel like being messy just a little bit just a little bit <laughs> we're gonna start off talking about martel holt of love and marriage huntsville so let me fill y'all in so for those of you who don't watch Y'all got to tune in. Loving Hensville is, I mean, if you ain't tuned in, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but, girl, or, or booze and bosses, this man has a whole mugshot on the internet right now. Now, I don't have too many details because, of course, the media does not display a whole lot. But he, according to the mugshot, he was arrested for domestic and harassment. Hmm. 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 I wonder who that was towards. So, um, as you all know, he has not one, but two baby mamas. He got five kids total, four with Melody, and one with whoever she is. <laughs> she don't matter. <laughs> She's a side chick. <laughs> but he um, was recently arrested, and I, I like I really was debating on whether or not I wanted to talk about this topic because. Like, there's not enough info out there right now about the arrest. Now, um, everything on here that I say is always allegedly, okay? But, <laughs> I mean, for real, for real, like, it's right here. So, um, I love that show. 
okay? And I was rooting for Martel because he he appears to be like a good man, but he just has his morals messed up. Like he needs somebody that can really like lock him in. He needs a woman who can really hold him down, but like lock him in to where he'll be faithful. I think he's just with the wrong woman. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I had, I've had a cheating problem in the past, but not, it was with one person. And it was over, like, over time. So, I don't know. Like, what are y'all doing to get cheated on? I'm just so confused. Like, he appears to be a good man. But at the same time, like, how do you have issues with your ex-wife? Like, it's a long story. Like, I really have to, like, go down the line. If you are if you don't watch the show, I'm so sorry because I don't have a whole lot of information regarding this matter. But anyway, let's move on to the next. <sighs> yeah. Let's get into this tea with Cat Williams and Kevin Hart. Hmm. So, they had an issue where uh, Cat Williams recently went on a podcast and spoke about literally every comedian just about that is in the industry. And I guess Kevin Hart felt a way about it. I'll put whatever I have available up here if I can. I'm not the comedian you can give that to. I only put on comedians that are funnier than me. Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat phase on liar. Um, so Kevin Hart felt a way about it. Um, apparently Cat Williams felt like he only put on people who were worth putting on in front of the camera. People with actual talent, real talent. And Kevin Hart was not one of those people that were listed in that podcast. Now, apparently, neither was Mike Epps. But we all know Cat Williams and Mike Epps were cool because they played together in Friday After Next. Oh, no, I'll play a bit you know, I'm afraid. Seen that? Oh, man. Turn them off. The damn wrong with it. Come on, Bill. Let's go. I don't see nothing here I like. No, you ain't sick no more. You going to jail, sister? Girl, I can't believe you did this. I'm a pawn. You ain't pawn. You a nigga that's still on the deck. So, I guess there was like a tobacco, whatever, um, an issue between that situation. But recently, TMZ caught up with Kevin Hart, and this is what he had to say. Hey, Ms. Charlamagne, a lot of people yeah. were saying that Cat was trying to downplay your accomplishments. What to you is the driving force behind your success? Uh, my success is my success. I want everybody to win. I love everybody. I love that. Once again, you know, your ex-wife is going on tour with Kat. I want everybody to win. I hope the tour is great. I love that. So you are supportive of her. Thank you, Mr. Hart. I appreciate you. What are y'all thoughts about that situation? How do y'all feel about Tori Hart going on tour with Cat Williams? Even though Kevin Hart and Tori Hart have not been together for many years, obviously. Um, I'm sure Kevin does not care about what Tori is doing in these streets. Um, I know I wouldn't. Like, if my ex that I don't even care about anymore, obviously I've moved on. If that person decided to do something with the ops, then do you, boo. <laughs> 
for real, for real. That's all I got to say about that situation. <laughs> Moving on. There's some controversy going on in these streets regarding the baddies once again. Have y'all heard about the petition? Oh, my bad, y'all. Have y'all heard about the petition that was released to get Roly off the show? How many of y'all have tapped into that tea? So apparently, uh, there was a hundred thousand signatures um, to uh, uh, signed on the petition to get Roly off of baddies. But I guess the petition didn't matter because apparently Roly is going to be on the new season of baddies that is coming out um, next. Now, how do I feel about that situation? I mean, I got mixed emotions about it because at first, like, I really felt like Roly was a real one. Like, I really felt like Roly was like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just hella real, hella cool, nonchalant, you know, sit back and, you know, just real recognize real. Okay? But she changed, y'all. I don't know if it was the BBL that she got from Goals that, you know, switched it all up for her. I have no idea, but what happened what happened <laughs> like i don't have a whole lot to comment about that situation because like i said i don't care for bullies at all um if that is the stigma that Rolly has attached to her boo i pray that you change your ways because bullying is not okay um if you are a bully honey I pray that you have a change of heart and really look at a situation before you just jump to whatever it is you're trying to jump to because trust and believe me when I tell you bullying is not going to get you anywhere and you'll be stuck on baddies forever and if that's what you want to do hey more power to you sis but i always thought that baddies was an opportunity to get you to go further so anyway enough about that situation moving on <laughs> let's talk about stunner girl and big legs <laughs> so apparently word on street is um they are beefing again so i guess big lex um made a diss track if i can get the diss track i'll post it right here for y'all still on who still on what bitch put thirty thousand on your head bitch i got numbers on your for you i got a nigga everywhere so we gonna run it to you but if i don't get it then whatever we'll just talk about it so apparently she made a diss track towards Stunner Girl. <laughs> and she claims that Stunner Girl didn't respond. So Stunner Girl decided to go on a live chat and respond to how she felt. I'll post that right here as well. I'm not doing no diss song back. Not happening. I'm going to say what the fuck I want, when the fuck I want. And I'm going to back up everything I'm hollering. Two. Two. I'm not this. I'm not rap beefing with her. The bitch don't got a hit to save her life. If she knows at the end of the day, she's going to get some clout and she's going to get some followers. And that's what all this is about. It's not that deep. Like. Yeah. These beefs are so whack. Like, honey, sis. Like, first of all, you're both beautiful. Very beautiful young ladies, okay? 
Big Lex may be a little older than Stunner Girl. I'm not sure what their ages are. But you both are beautiful ladies. Like, what are you beefing for? You have a song together already. And whether Stunner Girl called Big Lex a snitch or not, like, y'all too cute to be going through this. For real. And Stunner Girl, just a word of advice for you, honey. You are trying to go up right now. And you have to remember where you came from. So, we from the same area, basically. Um, I'm just actually in the Bay. You come from Sacramento, which is not too far from here. I just want to tell you, honey, that you are, you're going up. You got a video with YG. You know, you making moves without Zeus. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you even responding to ignorancy? Like, it's not even worth it, sus. It, it really isn't. Like, y'all, you know how we get down in the bay. Like, for real, some for real shit. Like, we stand on business for real. Like, all this, I stand on business that people be talking about. You ain't even gotta say nothing. It's not too much to be said because we know how we get down. So, if you're gonna be that queen, stand on your throne and sit there. You don't need to go back and forth with the bitter. You don't need to go back and forth with who's beneath you. And I'm not saying big legs ain't nobody. I'm not saying that. Legs, I mean, for real, for real, like, I give you your props. You was a two-hit wonder. You had your two shows or three, however many shows you had. And I respect you for that. But why are you trying to beef with Stunner Girl? You had her number, right? If y'all was cool enough to make a song together, why can't you hop on the phone, text her, whatever the case may be, and just be like, you know, what's up? Why you gotta go to the internet for clout? But if y'all ain't clouting together, it ain't gonna work. Next caller. <sighs> y'all. I had to throw this in here because this has been the talk of the year. Last year. Talking about Lotto and 21 Savage. <laughs> How do y'all feel about Lotto hiding her relationship with 21 Savage? Do you feel like she's hiding her relationship? Or do y'all think that she's just trying to keep it private? Trying to keep y'all out of her business? Like, you gotta look at it from... A woman's perspective nowadays it's so hard to have a relationship with somebody and be happy when you have people who are out there who will really prey on your downfall who will really try to mess up your aura that happiness that you have that love that you have women will really try to tear that down so like my opinion and my thoughts on it I really think that she's just trying to keep her relationship private especially with all the stuff that happened between you know the wife and, and her and it, you know what I'm saying like the divorce now I'm I personally I feel so bad for his wife I feel so bad for her she's beautiful Beautiful brown skinned girl like me, okay? Lotto may have that image, but just because she has that image don't mean she's that girl. Now, in relationships, like, I solely believe in, what's the word I'm looking for? Loyalty. Loyalty. If you are loyal by fault, then so be it but if you are loyal to the core like 100% hands down like you're willing to go above and beyond no matter what the case may be then you know what I'm saying like pursue what you have going on appreciate your 
significant other, whether it's a man or a woman. Hold them down. Times get hard. Times get rough. But who's going to stick through those hard times? Like, life ain't easy. You got to figure it out. So, whether someone try to come into your aura and tear it down, it's up to y'all to keep it going. So, I personally, I don't care for their relationship because he was married. I feel a way about it. That's my personal opinion. But if she wants to keep her relationship private, y'all, just let it happen. For real. Just let her keep it private. Leave that girl alone. But she's not going to tell y'all. She's not. I believe she's from the hood or something like that. I don't know where she's from. But I don't know too much about her. But I do know that she's not going to tell you. If a woman don't want to tell you something, it ain't going to come out. <laughs> like, in my opinion, y'all, leave that girl alone. Just let her be. And whatever it's meant to be, it's going to come out no matter what. Anyways, let's move on to YouTube. Let's talk a little bit about the YouTubers out here in these streets. Let's set it off by talking about Corey Pritchett and Carmen. Corey and Carmen. Two of my most favorite YouTubers, by the way. Hey, Carmen. <laughs> hey, sus. So, they got some stuff going on uh, right now where Corey is now allegedly, allegedly seeing Carmen's ex-friend slash lookalike. I'll put it right here. He came out with a video kind of like talking about why he posted all the things that he was posting and I'll try to add some stuff up in here he was talking about how the girl came into the picture because she just popped up apparently she popped up um out of nowhere and you know he was flooding his timeline promoting his new album his new music and I respect him. Corey, I respect your mind. Like, if you ever come across this video, come on, let's talk about it for real. Because I respect your mental. Like, I need to collab with people like you. Because, um, anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. Let's get back. Let's, let's stick to the topic. So, um, apparently they, the world feels like Corey basically got a new Carmen um I don't believe the hype y'all I don't I feel like it's all clickbait I feel like it's all content I feel like it's reeling y'all in keeping y'all going because why not like who wouldn't want to do who hello who wouldn't want to um reel y'all in to the stuff like we gotta keep it going right so she's she's a cute girl but she's not Carmen for real like Corey I see where you going with this but uh uh <laughs> uh uh let that go let it go like I'm watching these younger YouTubers and I, I respect y'all hustle I respect what y'all trying to do. Like, y'all will, y'all reeling the viewers in. I respect it. But at the same time, she's not Carmen. It's not going to pop the way that it popped with Carmen. And while I'm on the subject of Carmen and Corey, I want to move a little bit um, into talking about Carmen. My girl, my sis. In, in my head <laughs> um, I want to take a moment to give my condolences to Carmen for recently losing her best friend let's take a moment of silence to pay our respects to Carmen losing her best friend
I am so sorry that you had to go through that. Like, that is horrible. Um, I know her friend was pregnant. Um, she was in a couple of Carmen's vlogs. Very beautiful young lady. I'm not sure what the cause of death was, but I do want to sincerely send my condolences because that is so sad. I know what it's like to feel a sense of just not like knowing where to go after that like i've been through a, a horrible situation um, that was life-threatening a couple times and it really woke my game up so my condolences i'm so sorry but uh i don't know if this took an emotional effect on carmen uh, by losing her friend but i did notice that Prime and Michi posted a video, which I will try to tap in right here. So, Michi and Prime had a deep conversation, and I'm almost 100% sure that it was related to Carmen. Now, Carmen is very young. She, I'm sure, has a, a lot going on in her head right now you know, her relationship loss, and then trying to, you know, be a, a single mom full time, and now losing her best friend, Michi kind of came into the picture during a very vulnerable time of her life. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I hate to say this because I really wanted to see them flourish but I feel like Michi was kind of like rebound just to kind of like keep her mind off of her relationship loss of 10 years, was it? Eight years, however long her and Corey was together. I feel like I like Michi for her, but I don't think that he would be the ultimate man financially that will take care of her like Michi is cool like he's a great looking guy you know he is a Chris Brown look-alike so you know women who are Chris Brown fans like why wouldn't you want a cute light skin boy with tattoos but can he really take care of her and her children it, there's a lot to that story like Carmen is very young she's maybe 25 26 years old so she has a lot on her plate right now and if whatever Michi and Prime talked about was about Carmen letting Michi go not letting him go but just asking for a little bit of space if that is the case I, I just want to say to Michi just give her a little just give her a minute still be a friend though still be there to support her um still be there to rock with her no matter what because she's going through a lot mentally please don't have any like any ill will towards her um just try to be understanding and know that for women when they get out of relationships it's not easy it's not easy to make quick decisions especially if you have children because you have to think about what's best for you and not only you but your babies as well so i just want you to hold on to that thought and just know that it, it will all work itself out in the end just pray about it talk to the most high and you know just take it one day at a time but um yeah I, I, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for Carmen's, whatever her decision may be. I just hope that she has, you know, real good friends other than Miss Cat. Hey, hey, Miss Cat. You know, I got to give props to Miss Cat. Like, I just love her. I love you, girl. Like, you are everything handsome. Um, she is, I don't know her personally. 
but I know like she is so real she's so true she's so genuine and I, I don't know anybody who wouldn't want somebody like Miss Cat St. John in their um um, as a friend like she's just such a great person and if you guys can please take a moment to go over to her channel I will link it down here I'll probably try to link it in the description but I don't know but I'm gonna put her Instagram down here um, Kat St. John please go support her she is well worth it trust me when I tell you like her music is fire <laughs> I will post it um, please go show her some love Please go show her some love. Like, sis is the bomb.com. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to kick this boss topics off with talking about Jazz and Crystal. So, word on the street is they had some type of issues uh, to where Jazz pulled out the Strazap on a few other people. Um, that were associated with the FOE gang. Um, apparently, it was in protection because she was threatened in her own home, as you should, <laughs> period. Because somebody threatened me in my own home, you better hope you make it out alive, for real. Because don't threaten me. Tuh. I'm just saying. Like, those people who felt a way... Y'all lucky that it didn't go further than what it went. Because it could have really went left. And then right. Like, let's be for real. But, um, allegedly, there was some stuff that had went down in the FOE house. And that's what broke up the friendships between Jazz and, um, Flo. Not only Jazz and Flo, but Crystal, her best friend, Obey Tony, and Noonie, which was, I guess, at the time, dating Flo, I believe. Because I don't think Karina had came into the picture yet. I, I, something like that. So, when y'all saw that they weren't filming together, like, that's what was going on. So, recently, Flo... And Karina came together in a video and they basically squashed their beef. But there hasn't been a Crystal and Jazz beef squash yet. Now Jazz has been filming with Tay, which Tay is Jazz's ex. And they've been doing content together, which is running up because that's what their fan base wants to see. I respect that. Tay is a very sweet girl. You know, she tries to stay out of the beef. But Jazz was like a serial cheater. She was cheating a lot on everybody. Now, that's their business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I personally, I don't like cheaters. I don't deal with cheaters I want nothing to do with cheaters if you have time to go and mess with this girl that girl that girl that girl and that girl go be with them you feel me like that's how I feel go be with go be with them and let me be peaceful in my own circumference because I don't need those problems in my life I got enough going on mentally especially so I don't need you to mess up my mental more by cheating on me. You feel me? So I respect Crystal for leaving Jazz. Now, do I feel like Jazz might be good for Crystal? Yes, I do. Because Jazz has a lot of potential. Jazz has, she's very intelligent. You know what I'm saying? Like she gets it. And you want to be with somebody who motivates you. Now, I feel like, personally, I me mean, to each his own. I don't discriminate. I prefer men. Others may prefer otherwise. That's their business. I don't discriminate. But what I will say is, they need to sit down, have a talk, figure it out, and stop with the drama, y'all. Like, the drama is not it. It is 2024. Please, like, let's let the drama go. Like, let's head on a positive 
slope and let's go somewhere in life because there's so much opportunity ahead of us. We need to let the drama go, period. Um, I didn't want to say too much about that situation because I, I feel like Jazz and Crystal already have been sneaky linking. And I feel like they are going to get back together, whether it's now, later, or whenever. That's their business. But for y'all, the viewers who are watching, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, send them some words of encouragement. Let's not be negative anymore. Let's be positive. Let's see, you know, do you guys really genuinely feel like they should work it out or not? You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to be negative about it. You could just be like, okay, move on. We're tired of seeing this. Let's, let's you know, let it go. Or you can be like, you know, work it out. I hope to see you guys work it out. Let's see y'all sit do a sit down. Jazz and Crystal, do a sit down and make it go up let's get this money but anyways you guys um i'm not gonna hold you guys any longer that's the end of boss topics bye all right you guys i'm getting into my final thoughts i'm gonna let y'all go i'm not gonna hold you too much longer once again please if you are new to my channel like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notifications bell so you can be notified every time your girl uploads because 2024 is going up gonna see a whole lot more of me if you guys have a certain topic that you want to see me talk about please leave it in my comment section please don't hesitate to uh, reach out hit me on instagram hit me on twitter hit me on wherever snapchat tiktok um just tap in with me i'm new to this but i'm true to this y'all I'm, I'm a real one trust and believe me when i tell you everything that i do i have a purpose behind it and i know the most high has my back and i'm not here for nothing i have so much more ahead of me to come and i look forward to bringing you guys with me just always remember you guys are family you are my boos and bosses and if you are newcomers please 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 subscribe i really want to tap in with y'all i'm gonna head over to my life pretty soon I'm going to be going live and just chit-chatting with y'all so we can, you know, talk about it. <laughs> yeah, please don't hesitate. Anytime, hit me in my DMs on Instagram. My links will be down below. They'll also be in my description. So we can, you know, make it do what it do. That's just, you know, like, I'm here for you guys just as well as you are here for me. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you for tapping in with your girl, Lulu, a.k.a. The Boss Chick. Ew. And like, it's 2024, y'all. Let's go up. I love you guys. Thank you again. And I will tune in with you guys on the next video. I love you. See y'all next time. Peace. Make you do say anything when you do, they must comment.